Hi everybody, and welcome to the Blaine Gibson Sculpture Studio, one of my favorite rooms on this campus. It's filled with amazing sculpts, most of them created by Blaine Gibson, the Disney legend, artist, and animator. Like this one, you might recognize the partner statue from the center of Disneyland, but you might notice that in Blaine's initial sculpt, Mickey was sculpted with a small clay ice cream cone. When we reviewed the statue, we decided that it looked a little bit too much like Walt was taking his child out for a walk. So to make Walt and Mickey look like partners, we took away the ice cream cone, and they've appeared in the parks ever since. This room is filled with maquettes like this one, ranging from attractions like the Haunted Mansion, featuring some of my favorite hitchhiking ghosts, and one who never made his way into the attraction, much less out of it. We've got the 1964 World's Fair, Epcot, Pirates, just about everybody in here. And most of them are going to be used to create our audio animatronics figures, our high-performing robots that appear at Disney parks around the world. These busts will be used in the creation of the tooling for those figures. We've got pirates, presidents, uh, American figures from history, famous celebrities, and most of them are sculpted without hair because they're going to be costumed and wigged just like any actor would be. Only ours don't take lunch breaks. We've been sculpting by using traditional methods for dozens of years, but lately we've been turning to technology to help us make our process even better. Like Tramp here, was sculpted by hand at eight inches tall before he was scanned and milled out on a five axis mill to produce the larger version of Tramp, which in turn was scanned to create the three story tall dog who stands outside the Pop Century Resort at Walt Disney World. Or Sven from Frozen? We took the original file that the animators used when they were animating Sven and were able to mill out a high-density foam version that's super lightweight and allows us to breathe. 